recent report linking asparagus to cancer as people scouring the internet. British researchers say they found a link between a compound in asparagus and cancer spreading in mice. Important to note this study was done in mice. The study's authors said that lowering the amount of the amino acid called asparagine in the animal's diet helped to reduce tumor growth. Now, asparagine is actually found naturally in all of us, in all of our bodies, and it is found in a lot of things, protein-rich foods like dairy, beef, poultry, eggs, seafood, and a ton of other things like potatoes, nuts, seeds. So basically, Pat. Come on. What can you eat? No, come on, eat asparagus, it's fine. It makes your pee smell, though. That's, <laughs> you know, I'm just right. not going to, yep. I'm just not sure going to go down that road. <laughs> um, have, but have these I love studies asparagus. Become, I love asparagus. Have these studies become white noise for you? Like coffee very, might give you very cancer. Much Chocolate so. might give you cancer. Very much so. Diet Coke. Yeah, I mean, so. Is there anything that you've heard that you're, that you, you say you're not going to eat? No. Okay. <laughs> Just wonder. I'm just trying to think. I mean, there, is there one for you? I mean, I can't think of something that I've stopped eating because of this. No, I, I think everything in moderation. Right. Yeah. I think maybe 10 years ago, maybe 20 years ago, when it, all the stories were eggs are giving you high cholesterol. Eggs mm -hmm. are going to shorten right. your lifespan. Yeah. And then eggs did, and butter. Yeah. I get, right. Yeah. And then and I people egg. backed off on that a little right. bit, and then the study comes out 10 years later, and actually those things are fine for you. That's how it always is, though. The butter. Don't eat butter. Now you can eat butter. Right. So I do feel a little. And I want to be clear. Asparagus is not going to give you cancer. What they found out is that this uh, compound in mice helps spread cancer that was already present in those mice. Mice biology, oh, human biology, oh, not big the same. Oh. So there's a, a, a lot of holes in this here. Well, asparagus has become the go-to for me. I mean, it's, instead of a lot of other uh, uh, portions on, on, a, on a dinner plate, yep. that's what you go asparagus. With? Yeah, absolutely. That's your side dish? I love it. And I think what scientists are really yeah. excited about with this research is that maybe by eliminating the asparagine from our diets, that that could help stop the spread of cancer. So maybe they can develop drugs that would stop this. In this particular case, it was a form of breast cancer that it spread. So right. maybe perhaps that would be good for people who are diagnosed with breast cancer. I know it's serious, but come on. <laughs> what, food I know it's be, serious. what food would you be willing to give up if you found out it might cause the spread of cancer? Well, I, well I've actually uh, tried to stop drinking coffee for the last week. How's, yeah, it, how's it going? <laughs> exactly. No, so yeah. that, that's been very difficult. Uh, but uh, but now I'm past that first thing, and it's it's kind of interesting. So that's one, because people said coffee, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. That was not good for you, but uh, yeah, I, I've tried. But I'm going back to it. I'm gonna yeah, have come on back. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, Matt right hasn't had the coffee corner. You haven't had yours today, but you can't tell. As yeah. you can see, Matt is doing just fine this morning. I did he's have a little, Diet he's, Coke. He's a little on edge. That's yeah. fine. It's more the kids than the yeah, coffee. Exactly. So.